Hi, Charlene here for Medical Feng Shui with Charlene and I actually filmed this little video a few days ago having just gotten out of the lake and I was talking about certain things but I put it on fast forward and didn't check. Yeah, coming into the fall and how to keep young and youthful and vibrant because that's what this series has been about. Um, youthfulness really has to do with where you live, how you live, and it's directly, totally affected by the feng shui, wind, water, my breath, it's me. So everything that I do, the places that I choose to be in are really important in terms of how I'm going to stay vital and alive. And so I came across a list on five things that you can do to stay young. And one of them was always be learning something new. So I'm going to share those with you in the next month. There's only five very important things I came across years ago. And now that I'm doing this series on health and vitality and how it relates to our spaces, I thought I'd share that with you and just keep safe, keep happy and enjoy the rest of these beautiful golden days that we have. We're coming into the harvest time of the fall. And right now I have my beautiful sunflowers and my daughter just posted um, about her dad's garden and his famous sunflowers that some of them are like 16 feet high. He graciously cut some. We're having a little gathering today because I'm actually been feng shui my life and I'm leaving this town in a few days, counting down hours and I've spent the whole summer prepping for this big move. And so when we take the time to clear out things, we don't let that happen. We don't pass that on to others. And it really gives us a lot of um, energetic motion forward into what we need to do. So that was the other thing I wanted to mention that's really important. Like, don't wait. Clear out your clutter. Clear out what you need to clear out because when you do, you get all this energy and vitality coming your way. Thanks for joining me. Have a great end of summer. Good morning, everybody. I'm here in my friend's beautiful little dance studio in Vernon, making my coffee early in the morning. I locked myself out of their house, so here I am. Uh, it's chilly, it's getting cooler, the fires are abating. There's a lot to be said about helping other people at this time when, you know, the fall's coming and a lot of people that have been hit by fires are needing supplies. So. All I would say is that go to your grassroots organizations, those people that are helping people on the ground, um, whether you're talking about Hawaii, Maui, anywhere in the Northwest Territories, anywhere in British Columbia, anywhere, uh, try to research the grassroots um, places because then you know your dollar is going towards that or your whatever you're giving gets to the right places. And <clears throat> I'm finally on a big journey. Uh, I left the Kootenays yesterday. I left home two days ago. I've been cleaning up my life, clutter clearing, and I can't believe the energy I feel and the support I feel. And I'll be back with more about Feng Shui, Vitality, Vibrancy, and the last couple of numbers, number eight and number nine. And they're the last of the series. And then we'll be back with something fun from the coast of British Columbia. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Ciao.